So what we're going to have a quick look at here is the uh, stretch reflex. Um, and you can see here we've got the muscle with the tendon at either end. And this is uh, one of the nerve roots that go back into the spine. This is a spinal cord. And this is another nerve root. Um, they call this the dorsal and this is the ventral. Basically it's just uh, the, the channels that go back into the spine. So if we have a look a little bit further on, we'll actually see that we've got these stretch receptors here. And... Uh, here we've got the the sensory afferent neurons so they're gonna you can see these stretch receptors here are gonna sense and trans transfer that signal through to the to the spine and there's these synapses or little junctions here and that's going to cause an automatic response coming out of the motor efferent neurons so this side is the sensory side it's going to sense the stretch and then this is the uh, I'm going to do something about it side this is the motor side so let's have a look at actually what happens. Here are the motor endings. So these are actually the, the little uh, end plates that tell the muscle to, to do something. So here we go. We, we detected that stretch and you can see that action potential is coming back around. And it's going through an interneuron here. Into the spine. Through that synapse. And coming back out automatically into the motor end plates to tell the muscle to contract and so it does so what we've really got there is a situation where when you stretch a muscle there is an automatic feedback loop to tell that muscle to develop tension um, now the amount of firing that goes on is related to how quickly that stretch is happening if you stretch a muscle rapidly these spindles get stretched very rapidly and they'll fire off really quickly a lot of signals through here so at the same time you're getting a lot of contraction now that, that's that's handy because what it means is that if something really happen, happens very quickly and stretches the muscle instantly you've got a contraction to prevent the muscle from being torn because you don't want to be tearing the tendons now because this is at the spinal level it is extremely quick very very quick if this had to go all the way up to the brain and we had to analyze it decide whether we wanted that muscle con to contract or not and then send the signal down through the somatic uh, system it would take a lot lot longer and we'd actually have a lot more muscle damage so this is actually a protective mechanism the stretch shortening cycle they call it which is where there's a stretch detected comes through straight into the spine there's a contraction that's signaled at the same time so it has implications for how we stretch people and how we train people depending on what sort of conditioning uh, they need and what demands for instance they have in their sport or what rehabilitation they need as well.